Bonjour à tous, bienvenue à French classes avec Gurbani Kaur. Today, we are going to do a very small and very simple topic, yet it is very important. So today, we are going to learn what are subject pronouns in French. So first, you need to know what are subject pronoun in English. Subject, what is a subject? A subject is the person or a thing who is doing the action. For example, Aram is sleeping. Now, who is sleeping? Who is doing the action? Aram. So, in this sentence, Aram is the subject. Now, what are subject pronouns? When we replace these nouns, these subject with a word like he is sleeping. Over here, he is the subject pronoun. So, he, she, I, they, you, we. These all are called subject pronouns. Now, we will learn what are these subject pronouns in French. So, these are the pronoun sujet, les pronoun sujet. So, what are the pronoun sujet subject pronouns in French? These are je, tu, il, elle, nous, vous, il, elle. So, these are subject pronouns. Step 1 is to learn them in order, which will help you in doing the conjugations. So, je, tu, il, elle, nous, vous, il, elle. Don't pronounce this as nous. Nous, vous, right? So, je means I. Je means I. Tu means you. Il means he, elle means she. Now, il and elle is also used for it. For example, you say the chair is big. You can also say it is big. So, for it, for the chair, we will use elle. Elle a grown because chair is feminine. So, you will use L, E double L, E, which would mean it, right? Next is NU. NU means V. Next, VU means you. Now, this VU over here, you say TU and VU. The meaning is you. Now, this TU is little informal and this VU is formal. So, VU is used for two things. First thing is when there are many people. Like if I say TU means there is one child sitting in front of me. TU A BO. You are handsome. But now when there are many students sitting in front of me, there are many people, I would say VU Z BO. You are handsome. This would be the plural form, right? And this is also used for giving respect. So, if you are talking to elders, you would use the form VU, right? So, VU is used for two forms, with many people and with elders. And it is the formal form. Next is IL and L. IL and L both means they. Now, this is the masculine form of they and this is the feminine form. Now, what do you mean by this when there are many people? If there are only boys, we will say I-L-S, they, ill. When there is a group of girls and you have to say they are beautiful, then you will use E-L-L-E-S. So, for group of boys, you use this. For group of girls, you use this. What if there are, in a group, there are girls also and boys also? This question is often asked by my student. So, then... We use the form I-L-S. So, I will quickly repeat. Je means I. Tu means you. It means he. L means she. For it also, we can use il and L. No means we. Vu means you. Used for two form. Elders and when there are many people. Next is il, which means they. L, which also means they. This is used for group of boys 
This is used for group of girls and when there are boys and girls both in one group, then you use ILS for them. Wasn't that simple? For the school students, I would suggest you to make a register where you can note down these points and then you can even do the written practice. Written practice is very, very necessary if you are a school student. Okay, so that's all for today. Merci beaucoup. A bientôt.